Hello everyone, my name is Ronak and you are watching VectorWart. So in today's video, we will create this user control animation using WPF. So without any further ado, let's get started. And for those who haven't subscribed to my channel, please do subscribe to my channel. It means a lot. So let's create a project in Visual Studio Blend and select WPF app with .NET Framework. Give this project a name and let's click on the create button. Let's wait for the project to load. Once it is loaded, let's uh, hide the XAML content. And uh, first things first, let's go and add our user control. So let's add a user control, give this user control a name. Let me rename it as pop control and click on add. Once it is added, let's go and change the height and width of the user control. So I need the width to be 300 and the height, let, uh, let's leave the height as is. So now let's move on to designing our user control. So let me start first by adding a button. Uh, let's uh, place it at the center, bottom center. And um, let's first remove the background. Uh, and also change the content. I'll just go and remove the content and right click, edit a template, edit a copy and click on OK. First thing is what I was going to do is I will go and change the corner radius. So I'll change the corner radius to 55, same as the width and height of the button so that I get a rounded button. Once that is done, I'll go back to the window and change the image a background image of this button. I have downloaded some images from icons8.com. I will leave a link in the description. You can check them out. Um, so these are the images that I've downloaded. Let me go and select the uh, add button. So this is our add button and let me remove the border and let's next let's uh, I think let's keep this border for now. Uh, let's see, uh, let's make the changes later. So I'll just copy and paste this button so that uh, I have a add button and next one is the cancel button. So you'll understand wh what I what I am trying to do here. So when I click on the add button, uh, an animation will trigger and I will have some more buttons or options. And when I click on the close, uh, everything will collapse. So I uh, have the add and cancel button. So let me make the add button hidden and cancel button visible because let's start first by uh, the uh, uh, storyboard tool that we will design. So I just want to uh, design what happens when you click on the add button because if you um, start with the cancel, then everything will be collapsed and you'll not be able to design it. Uh, better. So I am starting with this. Uh, I have added a button. Same procedure. I'll go edit a template and edit a copy and remove this content present area this time and inside this border uh, before uh, making changes inside the border I will change the corner radius to say 10. Um, I need a more rounded rectangle so 20 it would do. So border I have set to 20 corner radius and I inserted border I am adding a stack panel and inside this stack panel I will add a button so let me resize the button to 30 points and uh, let me change the horizontal alignment and uh, let's select this button and edit a template edit a copy and this time I will remove the content presenter again and uh, select the border and change the border to same as the width and height so that I have a rounded button. Let me go back. Let me select the button again. And this time I will go to the margin and set a margin of 10. Uh, let me reduce it. 10 is too much. Uh, I think 2 is good. I will also change the width and height of this button and uh, play around with the uh, margins so that I have uh, the exact or the right position inside the button. So I think two is fine. Now let's select this inner button and change the background of this button. So the first button is the files button. 
so let's add this and remove the and next to that let's add a text block so since the stack panel orientation is vertical uh, it is stacking below so I will change the orientation and change the height of this text block and also add a margin and change the text so this is files um, yeah so this is our button let's remove this border brush and also let's go back to the uh, window or the user control and select this button rename it to files and also change its size to say 80 points I think 80 points would be good okay so we have our first button so let's copy and do this uh, several times uh, so till we reach uh, the buttons that we have uh, so next one would be file uh, folders sorry same procedure uh, make sure you edit a copy and not edit current because if you edit a current uh, then uh, the, the same template will be applied to the previous button as well so ensure you select edit a copy every time so now um, unless you need uh, the same template to be applied for all the buttons uh, now I have made another copy of the button and this would be the uh, pictures or uh, photos so let's edit a copy inside this button let's change the icon that I have and uh, the text block that is done let's repeat it one more time before that I think um, I should go back to the button instead of changing the size here okay so I have gone back to the user control and now I am changing the size of this button now one more copy rename it to bef uh, copy rename it to say this would be camera so right click copy okay and inside this we have a button change the image change the text inside the text block go back to the user control and resize this to 150 points so this is the end uh, this is the uh, end of the first storyboard animation when you click on the add button so when you click on the add button this is what I need to show so we all have everything uh, now now I will go and uh, before that I'll just remove this uh, border that I had for the uh, add button so now I will work on the um, cancel button animation so this is not animating for now I am just uh, showing you the different states the animation will be done using storyboards so we have not done that yet so I have copied the color of the uh, uh, image and change our uh, background to the same color as the image color so that uh, when I resize or uh, change the size of this buttons I do not want that background to be white so changing the background and the width of the buttons first and now uh, once all that is done I will uh, move these uh, buttons um, inside the add button or behind the add button so this is the uh, animation that I want to achieve uh, when I create these storyboards and animate this uh, whole user control so right now I'm just doing moving them manually inside so this would be our start screen so now I will add a storyboard so let's add a storyboard click on ok and on the first keyframe of uh, button file let's add an empty keyframe and on the point 2 keyframe let's move this uh, button out and uh, on for the second fold button I will start uh, the keyframe empty keyframe where the first button ended and on the point four I will um, change the margin of the button so I will repeat this for all the buttons that I have and you will see uh, from the steps that I am performing uh, please um, 
concentrate in this part where I am changing the margins uh, of the buttons. So next, um, I will uh, on the point fourth keyframe, I will change the background color of this uh, button and also change the width to uh, 80. So all these uh, values I have uh, saved when I was designing the uh, st uh, states of these um, um, animations. So now for the second button, on the third keyframe of the second button, I will uh, increase the size and change the background color to white. Same procedure for the photos button. On the third keyframe, I will change the size and the color of the background and also for the last one. So uh, that is done. And the last, so you can see this animation looks beautiful. So last is uh, to show the um, add button, uh, sorry, hide the add button on the last keyframe and make the cancel button visible on the last keyframe. So when you run, so this is the first storyboard that we have completed. So now let's add our second storyboard, which is the uh, um, storyboard that will be triggered when we click on the cancel button. So uh, let's start from where we left off or uh, where we ended in the first storyboard. So that would be the uh, first, um, that would be the starting point for all the uh, elements in our second storyboard. So our, but our button files was actually um, out of the um, um, add button and its background was white and its height was, sorry, width was 80 points. The second button was also um, expanded its height was, uh, sorry, width was 100 and background was white. So you understand what I am trying to do here. I am just trying to achieve the last uh, frames or copying the last frames of the first storyboard and uh, creating this second storyboard with those values. So on the first keyframe of uh, our second storyboard, I am just achieving what was uh, the values that were in the storyboard one. So let me quickly do these changes for the first uh, keyframe of all our elements in the second storyboard. Yeah, so this is what it ended with. Now uh, I will slowly um, change the um, attributes in the uh, second keyframe of all the um, elements. So I will change the width and background, which I had uh, uh, the value I have copied previously. So I'm just uh, typing it here. So the color was blue and I will do the same for the all the elements. And uh, on the second keyframe of all the elements, I will change the width and the background. So the width is 40 and the background is whatever I have copied and pasted. 40 and the value. Same thing for the camera button. Okay, so now uh, on the third keyframe of every element, I will move these buttons back uh, to where it started from that is behind the add or the cancel button. So I will simply move them by changing the margin. So every third keyframe uh, is to move them back to where they started from. So that is done. So let's run and see it in action. So it looks beautiful and smooth. So now um, we have our storyboard one and two ready. So uh, now uh, we have to trigger this uh, when we click on our add and cancel buttons respectively. So let's uh, stop the storyboards and uh, go to our, uh, let's rebuild this. So just to rule out any errors. And now let's go to our XAML and under the resource uh, user control tag or above our grid, add a user control dot triggers tag and inside our triggers we will add an event trigger and routed events equal to button base dot click 
this is our uh, event that will be triggered and the source would be uh, the first button that is button add and button add will trigger or begin the storyboard storyboard one so the storyboard value would be a static resource and that would be storyboard one so let's close this so when you click on button add our storyboard one will be triggered so let's copy and paste and let's copy the second button that is the button cancel and on button cancel click storyboard two will be triggered so uh, the triggers are ready now so let's rebuild this and go back to our uh, main window uh, yeah so let's go back to our main window and inside our grid we will add our newly created user control so um, i'll just change the background of our main window to a shade of gray and make sure you have this local uh, namespace uh, red uh, there and you will be using that local namespace i am using our user control and i am setting the same width and height as the user control had uh, while we are designing and let's close this so that is uh, that simple to add our user control uh, to our main window i will also change the height of our uh, window and let's run this application and see it in action so when i click off this it pops out and 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 it collapses but um, there is something wrong here uh, it does not change back to the add button so uh, let's see what has gone wrong so we'll go back to our user control uh, let's go to the designer go to our storyboard 2 okay so i have missed adding a keyframe to hide and show the uh, add and cancel buttons so let me um, hide the cancel button and on the click of uh, on the second storyboard let's uh, hide the cancel button and make our add button visible uh, let me do that uh, i think uh, yes no uh, there is something wrong i have to it did not capture the keyframe so let me remap those select them uh, make it visible and then make it hidden again i think now it has captured the action hidden and visible so add button is visible and uh, cancel is hidden so i think uh, that should work now and let's run this one last time and see it in action so this is a beautiful looking user control with animations so hope you all liked uh, watching this video if you do please give this video a thumbs up and if you are interested in the code please uh, go to the description and download this code from my github repository till then bye bye